Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back in Resident Evil Village for another episode of Horrors. This time it's episode 5 of the playthrough, and in this episode we're going to be heading over to this door here to go and meet the crazy, like, fish person. I think he's called Moreau or something, Lord Moreau. He presides over the swampland and the lake over here, and he's going to be the next person that we go to meet after receiving the key from Lady Beneviento here. So with that said guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video where we dive into some more horrors in Resident Evil Village. Okay, so next we're gonna go and see Moreau in the swamps. Let's put our newly found key in here, the unborn key. And there we are, we've unlocked it. Wow, look, we can see the windmill over there in the distance, just spinning around. Oh my god! Is that actually a wolf? Don't take a leg as well, at least we half our hand earlier. Did it just bite his balls up? I think it did. Wow. That is mad. You know what, screw you. I'm not messing around, punk. Boom. I'm taking you down. Ah. That's right. I'm going, to, I'm gonna take this guy down, I don't even care. Come on, can I not take this guy down? Seriously? Yes. We took it down. I actually didn't know whether we could kill it or not. And we got a crystal beast um, artifact from that. Guys, that was mad. Like, what was that thing? It was like an actual werewolf. We need to heal up. Good as new. Luckily we had this powerful new shotgun to do battle with him, but like that was mad. I didn't expect to see an enemy like that. I thought they were all going to be like humanoid. The wounds are severe. I won't last much longer. I can hear it shuffling about outside. It barely flinched when I shot it. It feels like it's toying with me. That isn't a wolf. Still, I won't lie down like a dog. If I can get to the old water mill, I can stop it. I can protect you. It's so close. Damn, I'm so cold. My legs won't work. I'm so sorry, Louisa. Please forgive me. Oh, this is Louisa's husband. Remember, guys, earlier when we saw Louisa before her house burned down and she was killed herself, she said that her husband was out searching and she said that he would be fine. She didn't want to sort of believe that he had died. And I actually said that he had died. I was right. He's right here. He's dead. But he was obviously killed by that wolf thing outside. That's actually kind of sad. But we did get revenge. You know, we took it down for him. So hopefully if there is a heaven, he's looking down and going like, hey, good job, guy. There's also a door here that we can now unlock with uh, the Demetrius key. Oh, maybe not the Demetrius key. The Iron Insignia key, there we go. So, we might get some good loot from this. Some explosive rounds. Ooh, and a grenade launcher to use them. Oh, but we don't actually have enough space. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to come back for this grenade launcher. I'm going to probably sell one of our other pistols off. We really don't need all of those pistols. So, yeah, I'm going to go and do that. Back to the Duke to sell some guns. Welcome, Ethan. I'm gonna sell our gun, guys. Our original handgun. And I'm gonna sell our original shotgun, and I hope I don't live to regret it. I suppose you'd call this a farewell to arms. Yeah, it is a farewell to arms. I feel bad about selling those, actually. But you know what? You only live once. We can at least buy some new items now if we want. We can buy the shotgun Aha. gun stock. And equip that. 
and the improved grip of the pistol. There we go. Things and droves. And the high capacity magnum as well. And also we can Food upgrade our guns in the gunsmithy as well. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. We're fully uh, we're fully upgrading the sniper rifle here. Aha. Nice. Okay. I feel better now. Have a wonderful adventure. Even though we had to sell the old shotgun, I loved that shotgun and I loved our original pistol to be honest. But I'm hoping that the gamble pays off and we, you know, level up our other weapons as the game goes through. We also now, of course, can have the grenade launcher and what a sexy beast that is. So I'm now going to do something for all the people that have OCD and like things to be just so and very neat. This is going to be really satisfying for you guys. I can be a bit like that myself. So here you go. Look how neat that, that looks now. I actually think this looks pretty nice now, pretty neat. Yeah, I'm happy enough with that for now. Right, so let's head on to this water wheel, this windmill. Oh, what's this? It's covered in a slimy substance. What did it say after that? I think we're going to have to find a way through it. Oh, wait, can we use a grenade launcher on it? Here goes nothing. Nice, we actually can. This looks disgusting, by the way. No, this looks absolutely disgusting. There is the windmill. So we've reached our destination. Grenade launcher in hand. There's some pigs in there as well. We could actually use pig meat because we can upgrade some of our um, health and stuff like that if we get that. I don't like how I'm having to waste all my ammo already. Here we are. At the old windmill. Right, now we've got some pigs here. There we go. Shot the pigs. How many bullets do pigs take? Well, that's one dead pig. What about this one? You're dead too. There we go, we've got some meat. So now we can actually probably take that back to the Duke when we get back to him and try and upgrade our health and stuff. Reservoir elevator, this way, okay. Sounds good to me. Let's go and find that fishy little Moreau and get part three of Rose back. I'm wondering if like, there's going to be a twist where Rose isn't actually the thing in those flasks and we're actually putting together some kind of like monstrous virus or something like Evelyn from the original game, like recreating her or something. That'd be an interesting twist. Even though I would have like called it really early in the series, <laughs> but still. Man, we're in a dark, dank mineshaft now. This place doesn't feel good. This is probably going to be locked, yep. I fought as much. Alright. It's too quiet. That's locked. There's only one way we can go. So this is basically like a mine or something. Look at all this coral that's just forming around here. Feels like super eerie in here. That's kind of a pretty uh, rug, though. I wouldn't choose to have it in my house, but still, it's not bad looking. Don't know what that is. Trying to time to squeeze through. Oh, look! There is Moreau and Rose in a flask. Let's take the flask and just get out of here. Is what I think. Nice. That was easy enough. The arms flask. Oh. 
if it's for you. I'd do anything. I feel sorry for that guy. I'll just be taking this. <laughs> what are you doing with Mother's special child? She's not hers. Oh, you have something to say? What do you mean, Mother's special child? Mother wants her baby back. Don't screw with me. Wait, 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 please, please. If you take it, then the others will laugh at me. But if I, I do better than them... What do I care? Wait, just a little longer. He's absolutely pathetic, isn't he? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> You're stupid. You talk too much. <laughs> it's all over. I plugged away. What do you... How'd you do that, man? I want to know your magic. Let's just use our grenade launcher, right? Escape Moreau. Damn freak! <laughs> he is a he's a nasty little freak. He is a nasty little freak, that Moreau. Um Oh, okay. Let's just run. Screw this. I'm not hanging about. This is absolutely vile, by the way. Oh, there's actually a little gem up there. But I don't care right now, I'm just getting out of here. How do I get out of here? So, I'm guessing we can't go back the way we got in. So we're going to have to find another way out. This whole place is like a... It's like a ship graveyard or something. The whole town has been sunken here. I thought it was too easy when we just took that flask. I thought, oh, this is a really short segment. And then it, obviously we got trapped. Leave the boat key in the shack in the mine. Han is dead, so no more fishing for a while. I mean, we all know his death was no accident. He was eaten by a giant fish, boat and all. We actually saw a giant fish in the intro, if you remember, guys, in that, like, fairy tale that was animated. So I'm guessing we actually are going to have to meet a giant fish. <gasps> Wait, there's a treasure chest over there. Before we get on that boat. How do we get over to it, though? Hmm. I don't think we can. Maybe we can take the boat over to it. Start the engine. Do we have a key for that? Nope. We need to find the key to start the boat. Right. Okay. No worries. I'll have a little explore and see what I can see. Anything up here? Can't get back that way. Oh, maybe we can. Some force could break it. I don't even think we've been this way, actually. I thought this is where we'd come from, but I don't think it is. We need to find the key for the boat and then we can get out of here, but until then, we're trapped in these creepy, fishy mines. But at least we have our trusty shotgun, pistol, grenade launcher, sniper rifle. We're like a walking one-man army or something. I don't like that sound. I can hear something kind of prowling about. Oh, it's... it's lichens. Right, watch this. Straight up shot to the head. You want some more? Come then. I think that's it. I think it was just two. Now we collect our spoils. Lots of money around here, but no boat keys. What about in this shack? Oh, there's a boat key. But now we've got a lot of enemies spawning around us. So first things first, let's pull this bookcase across the door to barricade. I might put a mine down in this room. Put that there. We're gonna take the boat key. I like how it has the key ring that says, gone fishing. 
Right, I'm going to load my shotgun while we wait. Let's see if they'll come for us. Boom. Now come for me. Come into my trap. Nice, it worked. Okay. Now with all the headshots. All the headshots. Oh no! I'm gonna get this guy if it's the last thing I do. Alright, he's already down. A perfect crystal skull. That's an easy 10k right there, guys. Oh! How dare you shoot me? You're not worthy. I'm actually gonna kill these guys because I want to get their spoils. I'm addicted to getting as much stuff from enemies as I can now. Here we go. That's got to have finished him, right? Yeah, that's all of them dead. Oh, that was quite the fight. And we've actually run out of shells again. Anyway, let's head on back to the boat now because we've got the key so we can take a ride on the river. Okay, here we are. Back at the boat. I'm not going to hang around any longer fighting stuff. I'm just going to start the engine and get out. I'm done fighting. Now, how do we power this thing on? Oh, it's quite easy. I want to see if I can go over here and get the treasure. Doesn't look like we can go around there. Okay. Let's head on through the cave instead then. Oh, it's all above us. All right, which way? Oh my God, that is a big fish. I'm not liking our odds against something that big. Disembark. We only just got on the boat. We're already getting back off it. What the hell? Research post or something? What the uh. fuck are they doing here? <laughs> Stay the fuck down, Ethan. Chris. I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. He's just tweeting out. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. Sure, Chris. Why not? You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. Hey, Cap. I'm getting some serious motion readings out here. We should move on. What kind of readings? What's moving? Unknown. But my guess is we've been here too long, and Miranda knows it. Hey, hey, did you say Miranda? How are you involved? Leave it alone, Ethan. You are out of your depth. What about the sample analysis? It's definitely related to the mold. Yeah, that's what I was calling earlier, guys. It's all related to the mold still. Oh, no. You stay out of our business, Ethan. What he's, he's still... Why is... Why is he telling us off at a moment like that? Oh my god. All right. This is not good. Uh. Shit, stay back. Wait, does he transform into a fish? The exit's underwater. You're done. I don't have time for this. He's got the tattoo mother on him. Miranda sent you to slow me down? You're pathetic. What are you talking about? Ugh, don't puke all over us, you disgusting, vile creature. I think he's uh, transforming into his final form, guys. <laughs> he's gonna go Super Saiyan.
Yeah, he's definitely that fish, isn't he? He is that fish. That's like his true form. Just like we had Lady Dimitri. Oh, no time to explain. Let's go. Go! We made it. Okay, so... Um, we're not going that, that way. I wonder what happened to Chris and his team. What am I supposed to do? Moreau's clinic is this way. So we could go to Moreau's clinic. We could go up to this little house. The gatehouse. Uh, he said the exit's on the water. Ooh. Yeah, can we drain can it? Drain the water. Ah, shit, there's no power. Examine. So this is how we need to power it up, by like lighting these lights up like this. We need to find power first. Don't know how we're going to do that. Oh, here's the Duke. Hello, Duke. Shall I choose something for you? Please do take a look at my new stock. Oh, look at that. We're 14,000. Okay, let's sell all that. Ooh, where did you get your hands on such a thing? And now... I'm actually going to have a look at the Duke's kitchen and see if we've got enough stock. We have. I think we can make the Bird and Beast Palaf. Damage taken when guarding decreases permanently. Hmm, I don't know if I want to make that though. We also have enough to make this. It health increase permanently. That would actually be the one I want to make, but we need to get four fish to make that. And we also could do that one if we had juicy game as well. I'm going to leave it for now until we've got some more uh, fish. So, I guess we go this way then. We need to find a way to power up that um, pump station so that we can drain the reservoir. So it looks like we're going on a little uh, adventure. This crank is old and busted up. It feels like it's going to snap at any second. I hope it doesn't break. The only other one we have is over at Windmill 2. So we need to go and get a crank from Windmore 2. Well, I don't know if we need to, but it sounds like a hint, doesn't it? I'm going to get all the poultry. Make, make some good recipes with this. Ooh, what's this? Crystal fragments. Excellent. Is this Windmore 2? Or is this wind more one? Does it matter? Oh, okay. It's broken. Ah, so this is what we need to crank for. Seriously? And it's at the other windmill apparently. So it's over there. I guess we have to make our way across these rooftops to get to that windmill. It doesn't feel very safe with that giant fish thing in there, that giant moreau. But I guess we've got to brave the water and just go for it. Oh, there he is. Yeah, we'll run then, Ethan. Right, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. So let him go past and then run. Here we go. Oh. He's there. Um, oh, we need to shoot this. Oh, okay. He is an angry fish. I think there must be another point we can shoot on this one. I think. I think, guys, we have to go this way. Oh no, he's coming for us. Okay, back up, back up. Wow, look at the size of the thing. Alright, there it is. We need to shoot that. Now let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh no. Please, no. Alright, he's gone. Let's go. Back across we, we run and then we should be able to get across this one now. Yep. Nicely done. 
Man, this is intense. But I'm still gonna find time to pick up that lay. That sweet coin. Right, what do we do with this? We push it into the water. Damn. Right, so that's floated across. Look at him swimming about. Okay. I can't go across that. Oh, we can open this. That's disgusting. Uh, stinks. I love how he's debating whether to pull it. <laughs> just, just pull it. Look at the situation you're in. Don't worry about how sanitary it is right now. Oh, 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 oh. That was scary. I thought he's gonna actually like eat us then. We need to do this quickly. No, 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 no. Okay, this isn't working. We're trapped. This isn't good. I think we're, I think this is a game over, guys. Okay, let's try that again. So we hit that one. And we hit that one. Then we hit this one. And then we hit this one. We've got magnum ammo, nice. Oh no, so let's try this again. So one, two, three. We gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run. We made it. Nice. Oh, okay. Oh my god! Get out! That was so close. That was actually nuts. <laughs> I'm the best! What the? He's so desperate to impress Mother Miranda, this guy. Oh my goodness! That's nuts, guys! What the heck? He's like, watch me, Mama! Watch me! I'm desperate for your approval, Mama! Alright, let's push this car and get across. There we are. Okay, cross, 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 cross. Over we go. This is really intense. I don't know where we go next, though. I don't know where we go. Maybe upstairs? Minecart. Let's push this in. And now we can get fully across. Woo! <laughs> Guys, this is insane. Oh no, we've got a blockage. We need our grenade launcher. Here we are. Boom. Right, uh, where do we go then? I guess up. The only way is up, as the song goes. you got to humor me, guys, when I'm on the edge. I say really dumb stuff. Lift up that. Nice. I caught myself a big one. Yeah, we could catch a big one. What is this? Some kind of tanker? Um, I don't know how to get out. Have I, have I even got any grenades left? I think so. There we go. Let's get out. Um, where do I go now? He's trying to bring the whole building down. I think we've made it to the other um, water wheel, the other windmill, sorry. Like, I think we're actually in the other windmill now, so hopefully we can get a crank. Ooh. Man, he's giant. Far more intimidating than he was before. Here we go, crank. You can't climb up like this. Great, so what do we do then? Oh wait! Maybe we use a crank here. Here we go. I don't know if we're doing the right thing here, but... 
Let's hope we are. Yes, we have. We've lowered the ladder now. We can climb up. Oh, let's slide down. To the other... To the other windmill we go. Ooh, that was very close. So long, sucker. You oversized... Tadpole. It's about the best I got. Okay, let's put in the crank. This one looks far more sturdy. And now, progress can be made. Okay. Ooh, sparky. Open the sluice gates. Nice. We've restored power, I believe. So let's activate it. We've got to actually set the puzzle up correctly first, of course. So we basically change the colors of these until they're all correct. Oh, wait. But if you look where the black key is there, it's actually placed up like that. So it needs to be like that's the right combination. And that works. Now we can drain the reservoir. <laughs> And put an end to Moreau and his fishy antics. He's like, no, please. Find a way out. Okay. Oh, no. He's on the land. Is he going to die? He's just crawling away. I feel like that's not the end of him. I don't have a lot of ammo though, I will say that much. But never mind. Lots of dead fish around here, but unfortunately we can't take any of their meat. I guess we just go through the house. Ooh, what's that suitcase? High capacity mag. Is that for the pistol? Yes, it is. Nice. So we've now got room for 15 bullets. That's pretty awesome. What's that? October 1st, a sunny day. Mother Miranda brought me five people from the village, just like I asked. I made them sleep with some liquid and then I put k in their tummies. I'm looking forward to the k to grow in their tummies. October 2nd, a cloudy day. Four of the people from the village are dead this morning. One is almost lichen. I sent it to my lab on the mountain. I failed again. Mother wants strong vessels, but I cannot get any. I will need more people from the village. So this is Moreau talking about how he was transforming people into those lichens for Mother Miranda. This is 100% a boss arena right, right now. A hundred percent. I should probably make sure that I've got enough am uh, ammo and healing items. Uh, well, I've only got one healing item. And... I can make some sniper rifle ammo. I can make a pipe bomb. Two pipe bombs. That's about all we've got room for. Oh no. That's not good. Run. Abort. <laughs> Abort mission. I guess I gotta do this. Yeah, we've got to take him down. Shotgun ammo. Yes. Right, what are we doing? Oh, there's an explosive barrel here. Perfect. Right. Oh no, I wanted to shoot that barrel. There. Right, now we shoot his mouth, because look, he hangs out of the mouth. Okay, now we run. So that's obviously what we have to do here. Blow him up with explosives. Blow him up with explosives and then shoot the mouth. Come on, big boy. Nice. There we go. 
Boom. Boom. Okay, now we run. We need him to come this way. Did that not get him? What the heck? Oh, he's puking. Okay, let's get out of here. We need to find shelter. Okay, so when he pukes like that, because we just died, I think we need to find shelter straight away. Right, now he's getting on top. We need to seek shelter under here. Okay, hopefully this doesn't hit us this time. Yeah, I think we're okay. Look, we're sheltered. <laughs> Look at him just puking. Can I shoot him while he's doing that? Yeah, we can. We can actually shoot him to stop it. Disgusting. Vile creature. Oh, did he just fart? I think he did. You really are the most repulsive thing, aren't you? Come on. Okay, that, that didn't work. I went to shoot the barrel and we kind of like dodged it. Boom. We can actually just use a grenade launcher as well. Okay. Now we need to go this way. Man, this is actually nuts. Right, come on, follow me. Over here. We just want you to walk past this barrel. Nice. Thank you. Shoot him again. No. Oh my god, he's put up another one of those things. We're gonna get out from underneath that acid rain. Disgusting creature. Shoot him. Look at him, he's just writhing about. I'm not picking on you, man. You tried to kill me multiple times. Stop farting, it's so gross. Take that. We gotta run. No. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Have that. Come on, please. Man, this is just insane, this fight. Like, I can't even talk to you guys while I'm trying to do this. I'm having to concentrate so much. You are gonna die. We got him. Fish out of water. Oh no, he's gonna pop like a big boil. Oh, that is literally like gonna satisfy so many people that enjoy spots popping videos, but I'm not one of and them. Death as he was in life, disgusting. That's what I was saying, Ethan. He is absolutely rep repugnant. I don't usually relish killing something as much as that in a game, but he really was disgusting. The exit's up ahead. Anyway, guys, that was the boss fight. That was Moreau taken care of. So now we can head on back. <laughs> We've got our little rose flask. I think we've got everything we need. Um, we can use the four-winged unborn key here. The key won't fit. It's decorated with six wings. Hmm. Interesting. Mother Miranda gave me a rose jar. No one likes me, which is why I thought they would leave me out again. But Heisenberg said that was why we each get a rose. The ceremony cannot happen without us all there. Mother didn't seem to care though. Mother said rose is a vessel. With a vessel, Mother can get her real child back, even though she has been dead for a long time. Ah, so they want to use rose to bring Mother Miranda's child back. 
But if Mother does, then what will happen to me? If I'm not her real child, would she abandon me? No, I don't want that. No, 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 and he just goes on. Just goes off on one. What the heck is that? That's a Kadu. Oh yeah, it's a big Kadu of these uh, parasites that get put into the bodies of um, the people and turn them into the lichens, you know, the wolves. This is the actual parasite that does that. <laughs> Shot the glass. Don't think we can destroy it. Ooh, look! We can upgrade our key. Here's the uh, new wings that we need for it. So we've now got a six wing unborn key. You're better off than I thought. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> oh, exactly. Cool. We just met a while back, not that it really matters. You're the last asshole in my way, aren't you? You've got fight. I'll give you that, Ethan. Oh, that's Heisenberg. But what's the plan when you have all four flasks? What are you trying to get at? I could lend you a hand. Uh, trying to get on my good side? I don't get cocky. I'd kill you if you weren't worth the trouble. There's a stronghold not too far outside the village. Go there and get my flask. Do that and you pass. First, head back to the graveyard. Self-centered prick. Head to the stronghold. So we're going to see Heisenberg next. But first off, we need to go um, back to the altar. The sort of central area. We can unlock this door now with our six-winged key. We can get out of the mine now. We're done. And I think we're going to wrap this episode up pretty quickly, guys. Um, or pretty soon, I should say. We're going to head on back to the Duke first, though, at the altar. Okay, so we've got a treasure chest on the map up here, guys. And there's a door here that seems to take the crank. There we go. Obviously, the more we unlock in this game, like, the more stuff we get, the more secret doors and stuff we can unlock. So I'm interested to see what's behind this sort of locked gate and if anything is going to be guarding the treasure. Because I have a feeling we're not going to get this easily. Oh, crows. Ominous already. Oh, we've got flying harpy things. I hate these things. But luckily, we've just sort of upgraded our sniper rifle so we can use our shiny new scope and uh, give it a little test drive, so to speak. There we are. Nice little headshot. What are the tongue things that come out of those creatures' mouths? I still want to know that. What's this? <gasps> Mermaid ball. We've got a labyrinth ball, guys. We just need to find the labyrinth now. So that's, I think, our third labyrinth now that we've got the ball for. Third of three of four. How did I miss that? Again, revoke the gamer card. I love how quickly this pistol fires now. Oh, we've upgraded it super fast. What the heck is that? Oh, it's just uh, <laughs> the enemy disintegrating. Okay. Oh my god, look at this pile of bodies. Boom. Little punk. And you can shut up too. Sit down and be quiet. Look, we've got a hole in the side of a house here. Um and a werewolf, a lichen, I should say. But not anymore. Alright. What's this? A box. Oh my god, guys, a magnum. We have got the magnum, look at that. Moreau's treasure was indeed worth seeking out. Oh man, that is so sexy. Uh, note here, it says, Mother Miranda gave me a mountain. Now I can do lots and lots of Kado experiments. This is my secret special laboratory. I did three Kado experiments today, but they all went pop and made a mess. I put in the Kado, and then I tried putting wolf blood from a needle into the spine. The person wriggled a lot and then killed my assistant. I could not hold it down, so I put it in a cage. Now I have to feed it. 
That doesn't sound good. Oh my god. Is that going to be the experiment outside now? Yes. Look at that giant wolf. It's like the one we killed earlier. <gasps> what? We already killed it. Guys, this magnum is insane. We killed the werewolf in like two shots. Do you remember it took like 10 shotgun shots earlier? This is gun is like so OP. No wonder it was a hidden treasure. I'm guessing we won't get like a lot of ammo for it maybe. Here we go, the labyrinth. It was right by the windmill the whole time. We've been looking for ages for it. So we're gonna put our mermaid ball in. Now it's time to play the labyrinth mini game. I really enjoy these little mini games. I think they're like super fun. Not really that challenging though, but I still appreciate them being in the game. I think this one we just sort of turn it. Is there even any way we can fail this? There's a little hole up there. So we'll dodge that. And twist and tilt. A little bit more. A little bit more. Come on. Come on. And I think we got it. There we are. Yay. I love the little confetti that comes out of it. Ooh, a chartreuse skull. That'll be uh, going for a high price on the market, I bet. Okay, well, I think that's us done there, guys. We've got the treasure from Moreau. We've got a sick new magnum, which looks amazing and really kills things super fast. Um, we've done that hidden weapon. And now we've got two treasure chests up towards where Heisenberg is. We've got one on the riverbank there and then one in Beneviento's house. So we're heading back to the village now, guys. Oh, look, there's a sign this way. I don't think that was there before. I think that's been newly erected by Heisenberg. This way, what's it say? This way, Papa. This way, this way, Papa. Oh yeah, look, we're back in the town square now. Rose is waiting for you and then we're meant to go up this way. What the heck is that? It's like a goat. Can we kill that? Oh. Well, obviously we can. They're quite easy to kill as well. So we've got some extra meats. Um, I'm not going to go this way yet though guys, I'm going to go back to the altar, I'm going to save the game and we're going to head on to Heisenberg in the next video. Well, <laughs> we just rounded it off with some goat killing there. But you can see, you know, the sun is coming down. And uh, yeah, the Duke is still sat here. Ah, oh. <laughs> my apologies. Let's have a look quickly, can we sell anything? 40,000 for the Moreau crystal. I'm going to sell that straight up. This is Lord Moreau's? I suppose it's what they call the beauty of the grotesque. There's no beauty in that guy. Trust I've me. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. All right, guys. So basically, I'm recording this part after the video. I'm dubbing this over the top because on my own time, I decided to go and unlock the rest of the secrets because I didn't know how interesting that would be for you guys in you know a normal playthrough, just seeing me try and find chests and stuff. But some of them were actually quite cool, so I wanted to show you them in this video and just sort of quickly edit together footage of my progress because I did actually record all the footage just in case anything interesting came up. And boy oh boy, was there some interesting stuff. So first of all, we lowered this bridge here, which we came across earlier, if you remember, with our newly found crank handle that we got from Moreau's windmill. And now we can actually head down. There's a little boat on the jetty here. And we can actually take the boat one of two ways. We can go upriver there, or we can go downriver there. Now, we will be going both up and downriver in due course. But for now, we're going to head upriver and check out the first of these secret sort of areas. So as you can see, we've reached the next jetty and we can disembark from our boat. Now this is going to be like a little tomb. It's kind of like Tomb Raider doing these secrets. 
First, before we get to it, however, we have to use a crank again to lower this bridge. And what you're going to notice in this part of the video, guys, is how all the map links back to places we've been earlier. It's actually really interesting and really cool. You can see up ahead, we've got the little house where we were earlier after killing Lady Dimitrisk. But for now, we're going to head on through these sort of big gates here and into... I think this is kind of like a, a tomb or a crypt of sorts. <sighs> <sighs> You can see we've got a, fi a fiery sort of torch in the middle there, and then two braziers either side. We need to knock the torch into the braziers, just like we did in the castle. They light up, and they're going to open the doors. Now, the first door, when I opened it, I was like, oh, mama, because there's so much money in here. Just all these bags of coin on the table, um, which we'll spend in the Duke's shop, of course. And then the second of the two braziers when lit opens up this door here and there's like a hole in the wall and this room really confused me because it was like tons of these zombies and they just seem to like never end basically these zombies they just seem to like keep coming forever which is really weird until you understand why they keep respawning so if you were to keep shooting these things they'd just keep endlessly respawning What we actually need to do instead is head into this part of the tomb, right at the back, and there's an unlit brazier but no sort of flame source around it. There's nothing to light it with. And if you look through the door here, you can see we've got a treasure of Lady Demetrius herself, a gold statue. We really want to get that. It's going to be very valuable. So, what we're going to have to do, guys, is actually lure one of the enemies into the flames here. And this took me a while to figure out. We need to light him on fire. There you go, I got a trophy, medium rare. I love the trophy collecting in this game. We lure this guy now over to the brazier. He'll light it up. And then we just shoot him. And he's down. And there we go, look. Statue of the lady. Very nice. She's got her little cup for blood. So with that said, guys, we can head out of this tomb and get hunting for some more secrets. The next one, as you can see, is this little boat house. And of course, this is the area just out after we get outside of the castle and the cathedral area after fighting Lady Demetrius earlier in the game. What you're going to remember is if we go through this house, there's a well. And I couldn't do anything with the well earlier, but now, of course, we have a well handle. So we can plug that sucker in. And actually raise up a staircase in this case. Not a bucket, but an actual staircase. This was really kind of creepy for me. I was like, wait, why is it letting us climb down? What's going to be at the bottom? Um, and what is at the bottom of this is actually a puzzle. Nothing too scary. It's just a puzzle that we have to solve. So I'm going to show you guys how I solved this puzzle. And basically talk you through it. I've just cut together, like, me solving it. I haven't left in all the bits where I was struggling for ages. So here we go, you can see in this room we've got all these sort of spikes and at the back there's a locked door with a treasure chest. We have to climb up these sort of traps here and get to the very top of the room. And as you can see we can't get across to the other side yet but we need to reach that minecart. Pick the pipe bomb up. So what we have to do here is basically raise all of the um, platforms up. So you just hit all the buttons, get them all up. And then walk over to the other side. Move the first minecart out of the way. Give Ethan's muscles a bit of a workout. Get them all hench like Chris Redfield. Now we push this little um, sucker off the top here. There we go. And now we can actually climb down and across to the other side and drop down in the hole in the roof here. And we'll get another treasure. In this case, you can see the treasure is a large pigeon blood ruby. Now we just unlock the door and I actually got a magnum round in here as well for our magnum that we collected earlier. 
I think that's really going to come in handy because the Magnum is super powerful. But with that said, let's pick up the lockpick and head on to the next secret. Right, so we're heading up river again here, as you can see. And there was a really, really cool secret up here that I discovered. I'm not going to spoil the surprise. You guys will have to wait and see. Before I go to the secret, I'm going to show you this. This is actually like a fresh mountain spring with a rare fish in it, a golden fish. And um, we're going to be able to make a really good recipe with the Duke to permanently raise our health now that we've got that fish. So, basically, I noticed that there was some cables running up this road and there was a little hidden path up here. This snakes round and it goes to a cave. And I was like, is, are we going to find like a bear in this cave? Are we going to find like a puma or a, like a mountain lion or something? It's not Far Cry, guys. We didn't find any of those things. We found something far more in keeping with uh, the Resident Evil universe. And um, you'll see what that is in a second. You can see all these tree roots. Very creepy. What was that? We'll find out very soon. So, there's a lot of stuff stashed here. There's an antique coin that can be sold for quite a lot. We got a full grip, which we can equip with a shotgun. Which is actually, like, really awesome. So, I mean, the shotgun is pretty much <laughs> maxed out now, apart from its uh, power level, I think. It's a pretty badass weapon. Then there was, like, loads of other stuff over here, like on top of a crate. And, as you'll notice, a note. DNA sequencing complete. 99.95% match to Dolve mutamycite. Deviation of 0.5% can presumably be attributed to artificial changes by humans, which means this is probably the source. Further investigation into how the connections managed to find and extract the mold is needed. The fungal colony is spread out under the entire village. When you take the Baker incident into account, the hosts of the mutamycite are part of a network of consciousness. If that network is linked to here, then we could assume this organism here is data storage. If that's the case, then what data is Miranda after? So this was really interesting because this actually explains a lot about the story of this game and why everybody is infected. It's because of the mold once again and obviously the connections that crazy company is involved too. Now we've got a giant tree coming to life here which has obviously been infected by the mold and plenty of zombies to take out. So yeah we're going to take those out and then I'm going to show you a better look at this mold that's growing underneath the village. But this obviously gives us a really good understanding of the story, guys. It's hidden lore in the game world, and I thought it was really interesting. I'm going to be doing, like, a story explained video on Resident Evil Village when I've got a full grasp of the story myself. Because um, at the time of recording this video, I still haven't actually finished the game. But once I have finished the game, I'm going to go through it. I'm going to make a video on it and uh, explain the story to you guys if you'd like it all summed up in one shorter video. Now, as you can see, this sort of tree that's been brought to life by the mold is actually like pretty interesting we can't actually harm it i tried to shoot it but you can't but it's certainly like one of the creepier things i've seen in the game so far and i just wanted to show you guys in this video so next i travel back to the beneviento sort of area of the game and of course there was this well here so I decided to raise it up and see what was hidden inside and we got the head for the Madalena doll which we got ages ago so now we can finally fix it to the body and sell it to the Duke for some good coin. We'll attach that to the body and we got a trophy repairer which is pretty sweet. The next secret was inside this toilet. It was a photo of a strange bird. Um, this is basically rare game that we can hunt. By collecting this rare bird and shooting it, we can sell it to the Duke and get a lot of money for it, or we can make up a special recipe to increase our health permanently. As you can see, the bird is located in the town square near the graveyard, so we're going to go and hunt that bird now. So here we are back in the town square, guys. Obviously, we're going to be heading up to see Heisenberg up there in the next episode. 
I haven't played that yet, don't worry, I'm going to do that um, in a normal video. But there's our bird, so we're going to snipe him. Pretty, I don't really want to shoot it, but I want the meat, so what are you going to do? I'm going to shoot it. So there we go, we've got our sort of juicy game, which we can now give to the Duke to make us a new recipe up. Also guys, in this graveyard, I did notice the final secret we need to collect, the final treasure, is actually this gravestone. We need to obtain this somehow, but I just don't know how we get it yet. Maybe we have to wait for the snow to melt. Because that gravestone actually needs to be placed here, in the Bediviento estate, and it needs to be placed in that sort of crypt so that it opens up a secret area where the treasure is. But I don't know how we access it, so I'm going to keep trying, I'm hopefully going to show you that before the playthrough ends. With that said guys, that brings us to the end of the secrets that I discovered, so I'm going to throw back to the recording that I did to say goodbye during my actual playthrough. Please come again. And please come again to the next video, because that is a wrap for part 5 of this Resident Evil uh, Village playthrough, guys. And I hope you've been enjoying it so far. I'm going to go and get editing now and get ready for the next part tomorrow, because that's coming in hot. I hope you have been enjoying this series. Obviously by now we've taken down three of the uh, lords of this land. So we've taken down Dimitrescu, Beneviento and down here we've got Moreau. And next, in the next episode guys, we're going to head on to Heisenberg. He is our next target. I hope you've been enjoying this series so far. I've been absolutely loving Resident Evil Village. I think it's fantastic and uh, I can't wait to play more for you guys on the next video. But with that said, it's the end of this one. So remember to leave me a like down below and comment. And of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.